Hey guys! Today we are going to do a little art project based on radial balance. Let's get that right side up. All right, radial balance is when we have something that starts in the middle and it explodes outwards. You might have lines coming outward, you might have dots coming outward, anything that seems to have a center and then it comes out, we would consider radial balance. A good example that you might see every day is a clock or even a tire is going to have radial balance. Another nice example that's kind of fun is fireworks. Fireworks explode out from the center, so they literally have a center and then lines or dots coming out from that center. Notice how the lines don't all have to be the same color. That actually has to do with the minerals and the chemicals that are used in making the firework. Sometimes they're lines, sometimes they're sparks and dots, but they're always coming out from a center. So they are an excellent example of radial balance. Today, you're gonna to get a chance to show that you understand what radial balance is, and you're gonna be making some fireworks that will be the background of an artwork. So keep in mind, part of your piece of paper is eventually going to be covered up. So you might wanna think about putting your fireworks more towards the top of your paper, What's down at the bottom might get covered up later up later on. You also get to decide, do you want your paper to go long ways or tall ways? I wanna show you a little bit about the tools that we're gonna have. We have got some glitter paints today. We've also got some metallic paint. The first thing that I want you to do though is work with your oil pastels. I have forgotten to grab oil pastels, so I'm gonna show you with a marker but you'll also see why we're probably gonna use oil pastels instead of marker. So I can make a dot and I can make some lines coming out with my marker, okay? Marker's okay, but marker doesn't show up super well, especially if you've got darker colored papers. You guys are gonna to get to pick from gray or black or dark blue or maybe purple. So some of the marker colors aren't gonna show up very well. If you use the oil pastels, they'll just pop right out like fireworks. And then you can take your glitter paints and if you want to add some glitter paints to also show that you have radial symmetry, there are paint brushes on the tables and the paint brushes are there for you to use with your glitter paints. So you can practice making stripes, you can practice making dots. Remember what we wanna see is it exploding out from a center. So please don't just take the glitter paints and paint it everywhere. Then I don't know that you know what radial symmetry is. Okay, the colors of the glitter are going to match the table, so the red table has red glitter. The gold is at the orange table. I have silver for the yellow table, green and blue and purple. So you can go to the table that has the glitter colors that you want, as long as we're following art party rules, no more than four people at the table. The other thing that we've got is some metallic paints. We're not going to use the paintbrush on these. What I have for these is a tool we've created out of a toilet paper tube. We've cut it so it also does radial symmetry. It's exploding out from the center. You can dip this tool in the paints that are in the bigger bucket. Let's not use the paintbrush on these paints. Let's use our tool if you want to use these. And then we can stamp. Now it might not get the whole design when you just press down. You might need to use your fingers to kind of press that down to help make it stamp. And when we lift it up, we have some metallic radial symmetry. We can do that in a few places, just so you can really see it. Okay, so first, do the oil pastels. Then you can add the glitter paint or the metallic paints. And when you're finished, you might have something that looks like this. See how nice those oil pastels showed up. A lot better than those markers. Okay, good luck, guys.